Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I rise in the Parliament today to talk about the Penrith Men's Walk and Talk, uh, which I uh, had the fantastic privilege of participating in last week. The Penrith Men's Walk and Talk is a relatively new initiative launched earlier this year. It was the brainchild of Emu Plains local Kevin Canning, who had the idea after seeing his 21-year-old son attend five funerals over a two-year period, some of these relating to suicide. Kevin joined forces with Alan Harding, Paul Wallace, Jamie Large, all have, who have been impacted in some way by mental health or suicide in recent times. With the help of Billy Beggs, the idea became a reality. The Penrith Men's Walk and Talk is held weekly on a Thursday night, rain, hail or shine, every Thursday evening. And I can attest to the rain, hail or shine. I know that a large group turned up in the rain a couple of weeks ago. Starting at the Nepean River Coffee Club, walkers undertake one lap of the Nepean River work, uh, transversing the Yandai Nepean crossing, which has really opened up that precinct. Open to men of all ages, the walk is a no-pressure event where men can talk as much or as little as they like, with the clear principle of no man walks alone. Whilst this is an only for men event, the support shown by women in our community has been nothing short of outstanding. In fact, a family walk is planned for this Sunday down around the Nepean River. It's an opportunity for men to start new relationships, promote fitness uh, to the benefit of mental health, encourage men to have a conversation about issues that they're facing and the breakdown of stigmas associated with mental health. Since the inaugural walk, the number of walkers each week has grown steadily. Not even the cold winter evenings have deterred them, and I've seen well over 100 participants in a number of the walks over the last few weeks. There's also been considerable personal healing for many of the male walkers involved. Walkers are welcome to meet up for a coffee, have a listen to a guest speaker. Um, uh, recently, we've had guest speakers that have included Peter and Billy from Like Mind Penrith, Gus Wallen uh, from uh, Triple M Radio, and also a strong advocate for the Gotcha for Life Foundation, and Greg Bond. Like Mind was launched in Penrith in 2015 and offers an easy one-stop access to a wide range of services uh, for people living with mental illness, their families and their carers. Uh, these services include vocational employment services, general health and wellbeing programs, counselling, education and housing. Uh, people living with mental, people living with mental uh, health challenges often have complex health and social needs and this is why the New South Wales Government is so determined to ensure that these services can easily be accessed when they are needed and it's fantastic to see uh, Billy from Like Mind supporting uh, these men every single Thursday night as they conduct this walk. Uh, we've also seen uh, former Panthers, Brad Drew, Peter Kelly and Royce Simmons, who have joined the walk as well. Um, numerous local businesses have supported the walk. Uh, a long list of businesses um, have been continuing to support the walk and sponsor the coffees for the walkers. Um, even uh, anonymous donations from people from right across the community are donating money to support the purchasing of coffee uh, for the walkers. Given the great success, the Penrith Men's Walk and Talk has in, been encouraged uh, a group from the Blue Mountains to start their own walk and talk. Um, photos from the group are captured each week uh, to share on their Facebook page, and their Facebook page has now grown to over 4,000 likes. Um, last week, the Men's Walk and Talk also uh, partnered up with the Gotcha for Life Foundation, uh, and a, a number of the walkers uh, ventured over to the Penrith PCYC uh, to participate in a Tomorrow Man workshop, a fantastic initiative uh, getting men together talking about the challenges of being a man in the modern world, um, being able to talk about things that are impacting your life, being able to talk about your values, talking about your work, uh, and being able to uh, deal with some of the most complex challenges uh, that men sometimes don't always handle very, very well. I have to say that if you've uh, got a Tomorrow Man uh, initiative or uh, event taking place in your community to local members, I would definitely encourage that you get along or encourage other people to attend. Um, in conclusion, Mr Speaker, I want to say a very, very big thank you to Kevin Canning and all of those guys who have been involved in the creation of the Men's Walk and Talk. It's a great example of Penrith men looking after Penrith men and creating a fantastic, positive environment for other people to come along and support each other. And as every single one of those men say, on this walk, no man walks alone. I thank the Minister. I